five, four, three, two, one. And they're off. And half Pittsburgh is in a strong lead with I3 Detroit in a strong second place as well. A little bit of skid from half Pittsburgh. It looks like a two-horse race at this point. <laughs> and it looks like Omnicorp Detroit is slow on the track. I'm not sure what they're doing. Oh! Steering wheel. And I3 Detroit. There seems to be silly stream on the track. And that Pittsburgh is pulling off. Looks like we're going to have a caution. Aaron from I3 Detroit is in the lead right now. Pat Pittsburgh looks like it bought it. It's the first, first turn. Well, second turn, actually. They're going to have to get it off of the track <laughs> so we can resume. <laughs> looks like Pat Pittsburgh is having a little trouble there. A little bit of beeping. You don't hear that in many motorsports where cars can actually beep through. And typical of Detroit, there's a traffic jam. <laughs> All right, so we're going to line up again, continue moving until we can take the green by. This time by, they're going to take a green, and it looks like Heron is in traffic in first place currently, with duct tape and six ties in second place. I mean, no, all they have to with Matilda is in third, <laughs> and wedding party in fourth. Whoa! All Trying to pass the wobbly I three on the on the inside. Karen is in a dominating lead with duct tape and zip ties stuck in traffic. Ladies and gentlemen, I three Detroit seems to be putting distance on duct tape and zip ties, which hasn't been able to get past Omnicorp. Finally has. <laughs> I missed that one. Back this Pittsburgh is a good corner. Getting around the tires as effectively. Looks like our track marshals are getting to the tires and fixing it quickly. And Brendan's arm is just shooting at anyone they want. Getting silly stream. <laughs> and it, it looks like... Oh, she got that guy. I3 is still in the lead. <laughs> it's just a second. It looks like they're in a 15-lamp ring. And what's that in the pit lane? I think that's someone playing the theme of Jurassic Park for Velasco Hactor. And the horns are going on. Velasco Hector's way back in 10th place. And I3 still has a commanding lead. Six laps complete. <laughs> we have nine laps to go. <laughs> Looks like the S1's going really slow out there. Hack Pittsburgh is in midfield at this point. Pittsburgh are in eighth place. I3 Detroit first. Duck Tape and Zip Ties in second place. Tiger Hacker, second I3 Detroit Three is in third. I'm smelling magic smoke out there. And it looks like we have a caution. <laughs> and that was a little glaring caution. It looks like Hack Pittsburgh's off and Hack Pittsburgh, both of them. A little bit of magic stuff. That's like that. <laughs> <laughs> we are eight seconds right now with duct tape and zip ties in second place, but not gaining on I3 Detroit. Karen Corbeil is well on her way to getting past Hack Pittsburgh. The wheels lean. I know. But not without managing her weight for She has to keep it together. <laughs> oh, and their own team car has collided with each other. That's from their own team. I3 Detroit hitting I3 Detroit. <laughs> that is not the kind of drive-by they're looking for. They're going to have to work together as a team if they want to keep it together. We don't want to have any problems with the lead car. We're 10 laps to go. They're going to be back on the track, seeing if they can get any laps in so they can make the secondary race. Looks like a traffic jam is being caused by Omnicorp to strike once more. The dog car is being pulled off. I3 is in the lead still. And then Pittsburgh is back on and putting down fast laps. Four laps to go for I3 Detroit. I don't think anything's going to put a stop to Karen Carmel right now. It's a silly string in her eyes. That is a driver aid. It is a... 
We'll also have her trying to keep it together. I think there aren't with Nerf this time. We'll also have her in ninth place, battling with Wedding Party. High three to Detroit, completed left 13. Two laps to go. For I three Detroit, ladies and gentlemen. Karen Corbeil is keeping it together in traffic. Looks like Wedding Party stuck out there. <laughs> Wedding party. It looks like the party's over for them. That's a dorky joke. White flag for Karen Corbeil, though. The Qualls race. She is going to start first. At the end of the track, it looks like Karen Corbeil is going to take the win. Ladies and gentlemen, from I3 Detroit, her third victory in the Power Racing Series, Karen Corbeil! First place. Second place for Duck Tape and Vic Five. Third place for I3 Detroit Sayonara Team Tiger Hacker. Black Beauty from Sector 67, a solid fourth place. Ivan Whiskey from Level 1. <laughs> and fifth with Bo Rari from Sector 67 in sixth place. Followed by Matilda, seventh place from All Hands Active. Velasco Hacker in eighth. Red Lotus from Milwaukee Maker Space in ninth. And the Blues Mobile from Hubbing Station 1 in a solid 10th place. Oh, and it's Black Beauty, technically trying to finish the race. Pushing it to the end. Ladies and gentlemen, give him your moxie. He's fighting for you. And that is the first round. Guess what? There's two more races. We'll have a few minutes break before we get started with the next race as we set up the field. But now it's down to two fields now. One moxie, one for speed. But keep that moxie board out there and keep giving them 